Starting off, I'm going to take my e.l.f. mineral primer and apply that to my face. Next, I'm going to be taking the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade 10 Light, and I'm just going to be dabbing that on any bumps or red spots on my face. Next, I am going to take my Damp Beauty Blender and this Revlon Colorstay Foundation in the shade 250 Fresh Beige and I am just going to put that all over my face as normal. Then I am taking my Maybelline Fit Me powder in the shade 120 Classic Ivory and I am just going to set um, all of that foundation. To give my face a glow, I am taking this Physicians Formula Glow Boosting Press Shimmer Bronzer Light to medium and I am just going to put that all over my face. For my first blush, I am taking the Milani Baked Blush in Luminoso and I'm just going to apply that to my cheeks. Add more shimmer to my cheeks. I am going to go over that blush with the e.l.f. blush in the shade Blushing. This has a lot of glitter flex in it, so I'm just going to give us a little bit more shimmer on the cheek. To keep everything nice and matte for the night, I am going to go over everything with the Rimmel Stay Matte Translucent Powder. For my highlight, I am using Becca Jaclyn Hill Champagne Pop. And I'm just going to put this on my cheekbones, above my eyebrows, on my nose, and my cupid's bow. For my eye primer, I'm using the e.l.f. Mineral Eye Shadow Primer. Next, I am breaking into a new look of mine. It is the Morphe 35O palette. I am taking this light cream color and I am just going to set my eye primer as I drop my brush on the ground. <laughs> Taking my Morphe E23, I'm just going to go into this light tan color and I am going to put that all over my upper and lower crease. Next, I am taking this deeper brown shade. It's like a medium brown. And I'm going to put that into my 
lower crease using my Morphe E17 brush. For my lid, I am taking this cream shadow stick from Tristique in the shade Venetian Gold, and I'm just putting that all over the lid. Going back into our 35O palette, I am taking this little shimmery color. It is like a gold shimmer. And I am going to set the um, crayon that we used on our lids. Using the crayon underneath really makes this gold um, shadow pop and give us that nice glitter effect that we're looking for with this costume. Going back into that light tan shade, I am going to put that underneath my eyes. Then I'm going to take this coppery glitter shade and I am also going to put that underneath my eyes to give it a nice glitter effect. I am taking more of the champagne pop and highlighting my inner corners and my brow bone. For the star of our show, I am taking this Stila eyeshadow in the shade Kitten, very popular, and I am going to place that all over my lid just to give us a nice pop. And I'm even going to place some um, under my lower lid as well. For my waterline, I am taking this e.l.f. shimmer eyeliner pencil. I'm guessing it is in the shade bronze. It doesn't really say on the package. I'm taking this NYC Eyebrow Duo. One side is a clear wax, one side is a brow powder, and then I'm also taking this Bella Pierre Cosmetics eyeshadow in the shade Celebration. I'm mixing all three to give us some glittery eyebrows using an elf um, angled brush. <laughs> For eyeliner, I am using the e.l.f. cream eyeliner in the shade Metallic Olive and a Morphe Bent Liner Brush. And I'm just going to give myself a dramatic wing here, make it as big or as small as you would like.
am giving my lashes a curl before applying mascara. And for mascara, I am using the Jordana Best Lash Mascara. It's like $3.99 or $2.99 at Walgreens. Um, I'm not going to be applying falsies, but you could definitely do that if you would like. For my bottom lashes, I'm using the Clinique Lash Doubling Mascara. To make my lips sticky, I am taking this e.l.f. shimmer gloss in the shade Confetti. This came in a holiday kit from them. I'm going to be taking this silver glitter from the craft store. You can get it at Michael's, Joann's, even the dollar store. And I am going to be dabbing like chunks of glitter onto our lip gloss. And you can use, I guess, a glue if you want, but it might make your lips a little dry. So I'm just using a sticky lip gloss and applying the glitter to it and it should stick just fine. Now for our big moment, I am taking this tinsel wig. These I got at the Dollar Tree. It says that they were two for a dollar, but when I got to the register, they actually ended up being 25 cents. So here is a cheap costume idea. All you have to do is add a glittery dress or outfit and you are complete. I hope that you guys have a great Halloween and thanks for watching.